And here are the two pins that I will be doing the writing with. The Noodler's Triple Tail, a very awesome fountain pen in my opinion, and very affordable. And I bought this at uh, Federalist Pens and Paper a while back. It took me a little bit of concentration to say, hey, do I really want to focus on this pen or not? Yeah, I did want to focus on it because I'm a Doodler's fan, right? So, yeah. And then, and this is my opinion now, okay? Doodler's Music Nib. I tried all the music nibs uh, that were put out at the time and they were okay they were fine but for me when I laid my hands on this pen right here this one right here it was in the story the noodlers musing did for me just I did every other pen of the music nib category that's just me. I'm not cutting them down. I'm not putting them down. I'm just saying that we all are different in our opinions as well. But for me, this just clicked. And it was love at first right. Yep. And I'm glad it was. Because I was always saying, now how can Noodler's pens put out such an incredible fountain pen, either one, at such an incredible price? The music nib was 75, the triple tail, 55. So, but that's Nathan Tardis' thing. He likes to put out incredible fountain pens at an incredible price. Nathan's deal is that he wants to spread the word of fountain pens, keep them alive, helping people to be able to afford a writing instrument, which which he has clearly done. So, I'm going to be doing a little test writing on some Rhodia, and then uh, probably on a couple of more different sheets of paper to see how the uh, nibs react on different papers. So, the ink I will be using today for both pens are the Celestial Blue Ink from Birmingham. Okay, so. And here we go. Let's get a real good look at this nib. The triple tail. See it? Really sweet. So here we go. Now, the name triple tail, that's a, a fish of some sort, is it not? I believe so. Okay, it does... Does, is there any significance about the name? Is there anything about this pen or the nib that, I mean, is it three parts or is it just the name they picked? Well, I believe uh, Nathan named it this because of the nib, triple tail. Because isn't there a fish I was thinking that they called the triple tail? Yes, I believe so. I believe that's how this whole thing got started. I could be a thousand percent wrong, but that's what I thought he said. But you know how my mind works mm. lately, right? Sometimes, yes. Well, auto limits or something, but uh, eh, here we go. Now we're going to use the music nib. Let's get a real close look at this one. See? What does that remind you? The nib of the other nib. And we'll put those in comparison in a minute, though. Really sweet. Very sweet. Okay.
that's with pressure without and then that's downstroke and the cross stroke so I believe uh yeah, I just inked this up with, with uh, right here with the blue one, so I could be wrong on this uh, ink right here. I would have to look it up. So, anyway, let's get back to this one, but it is a Birmingham ink, that's for sure. So, let me just try this for a minute. And let you all be the judge. Downstroke, no pressure. Cross stroke, no pressure. Now, let's get a real good close up on this. Look at the nibs. Right, triple tail, left, music nib by noodlers. You can see instantly how the triple tail is more slimmer and not doesn't have that width that the music nib here has but you see the one two three on the music nib as well as the triple tail one two three so back to the writing my friends Lays down that ink. Look at that. Triple tail up. Lays down that ink. This is with the pressure. No pressure. No pressure at all. And with a bit of pressure, here we go. So, yeah. Look at that. That is sweet. I love the triple tail. Truly love it. Next up to bat is the music nib. No pressure at all. No pressure with pressure. No, I'm sorry. No pressure with pressure. Look at that. Look at that baby. Woo! Wow. Sweet. So let's try this on a, another sheet of paper. This will be on the Franklin Kristoff paper right here. Okay. And it doesn't do very good on the reverse writing. No pressure. Pressure. Now let's see. This is no pressure. Now this is with pressure. I'm going to push it a little more. And a little more. There. Look at that. Sweet. Triple tail up next. Ding dong.
and this is reverse. With pressure, without pressure. With pressure, without pressure. And last but not least, Tomo River paper. I guess we're going to go sideways. And I'll just stop there. Next up, music nib. There you have it, on three different papers, noodles was done on the Rhodium, on the Franklin Christoph, and on the Tomba River paper, and both pins perform just fine, no problems. The only thing that the Noodler's triple tail did that the music nib couldn't do well would be the reverse writing, that was it. But, you know, I love both of them. I truly, truly do. I mean, I, I believe the music nibs are still 75 bucks, I believe. You can't beat that with a stick. You're going to get an awesome fountain pen at an awesome, affordable price. This is truly, in my humble opinion, is really a great fountain pen. Oh, there's a bunch of people out there who would disagree, and that's cool. Or may not like it for whatever re reason because it may not fit their personality it might not fit what they're looking for and on the uh, flip side of that it may fit a lot of people that have the same like as I do on this pen so it's kind of you know a seesaw kind of pattern e -e -e. so but you know you can't go wrong I love both of them, and I use them, and I'm proud to say I'm a proud owner of the Noodler's Music Nib and the Triple Tail. So, there you have it. So, hey, thanks for joining me today. I hope this answered some of the questions I've been asked. I thought I'd just rather show you how it writes and show you the nibs up close. Then it'll be easy for you to see the nibs and what you think and how the pin performed and folks I'm gonna get out of here you know why it's 743 it's time for showtime of course when I go to bed so a lot of peace and a lot of love God bless each and every one of you stay safe stay healthy and a rock and roll and remember don't text and drive bye bye